What's good, everybody? This is your boy Jagging Off, the go to Jack YouTube. 904 to Bowl City Duval. We in the fucking building yet again. All right, guys, I'm going to get right to the point on this one. <clears throat> I don't want Evan Neal, okay? I don't want to take him number one overall. I, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. I, I think it's a I think it's a mistake if we do that. Now, do not misconstrue what I said because I know how some people like to fucking look at the title of the video and not fucking actually listen to what I have to say. So before you, so this is one you should actually pay attention to before you decide to comment and look like a dumbass. This is not me saying Evan Neal is a bad player. I don't think I don't think Evan Neal is a bad player. I really don't. I actually think he's a very good player. I think I get Tyron Smith vibes from him. I think he's going to be a great left tackle. But here's my issue. I think we can all agree I think we can all agree that the biggest issue for the Jaguars wasn't offensive line. I don't think I don't even think it was near the top of the issues. I wouldn't say it's the least of our worries, but I wouldn't say it was near the top of the issues. I'd say the biggest issues were pass rush and getting a receiver that doesn't drop and having a receiver that doesn't drop the fucking ball. So let so let's hypothetically play future here. If we did, if we like let's say we took Evan Neal, okay? And it's an upgrade from Cam Robinson, which probably will be. And, you know, he goes on to have a solid career, this, that, and, and all that. Which, again, I think he will. But here we still can't, but here, you know, we still can't get to the fucking quarterback because everybody knows, just pay attention to Josh Allen. So, you take a look at it from that perspective. At the end of the day, what did we really solve? Exactly. So... I think everybody in everybody's top three is Thibodeau, Hitchinson, at uh, Hitchinson, Thibodeau, Hutchinson, and Neal. It's just you know which ones do you which one do you prefer the most? So I just think the pit, and also Cam Robinson, Cam Robinson's here, um, Jawan Taylor's here, Walker Little's here. These are three guys that we've invested second round picks in, and Cam Robinson, even though he's not great by any means. Is he like an all pro? Fuck no. But is he a solid starter and probably in the upper half of the league of starting left tackles? I'd say so. I think he's, I think he had a hell of a year this year. So I don't think it would cost too much to bring him back. So I think he needs to be resigned. And then, you know, Jawan Taylor might be the next to go. So you know, we got to see what Walker Little has. Like, we have to see what some of these dudes have because they're second-round picks. So, these, so this, this whole draft Evan Neal shit, it's like you're kind of you're kind of defeating the purpose here. Because, like I said, if we desperately needed a left tackle, if I felt that was our biggest need, because y'all know I don't like drafting offensive linemen in the first round, let alone the top five. So, if that was our biggest need, I'd be like, okay, yeah, take him. But there's more glaring holes here. Like, if we can't trade down, which probably is going to be very tough to do because the problem with this draft is there isn't a there isn't a Trevor Lawrence, there isn't a Joe Burrow, there isn't a Justin Herbert, there isn't like that, you know, guaranteed franchise quarterback in this draft. You know what I'm saying? There isn't, you know, there's not Justin Fields. There's nobody like that in this draft. Like, that was last year. And there's no fucking Jamar Chase in this draft. Because if that was the case, that would be my choice right away. But trading down, I would prefer to do. It's just going to be tough to do unless somebody really gets desperate for fucking Kenny Pickett or Malik Willis or something. So... That might so that might be out of the question. So if we got to stay at number one overall, we got to like I know everybody says best player available, but you know you're whether you feel Evan Neal is better than Thibodeau or Hutchinson, it's not that far of a drop off. 
I personally think Kayvon Thibodeau is the best player in this draft. So I think he needs so I think he needs to be the choice. Now now if he's not and they feel like, you know, Aiden Hutchinson's a better fit to the defense that they're gonna run, whether that's Joe Cullen's defense or somebody else, then fuck it, take him. Cause I'm fine with that. Like if he fits the scheme if you think if you feel like he fits the scheme better, then fucking do it. Fine. I'm I'm good with it because I like both players. But taking Evan Neal, like we got the number one overall pick, and taking Evan Neal, I feel like would just be a waste when you can just resign Cam Robinson and it accomplishes basically the same goal, and then we can fix our fucking pass rush. Which, other than Josh Allen and you know to some degree Dewan Smoot, it wasn't good last year. Like I think both of them had just over seven sacks. Maybe eight, I don't know. But I think that guy, but I think Hutchinson or Thibodeau just needs to be the guy there if we can't trade down. Because also, you got to look, not only is that like our biggest need, but you know, they're good in the run too. And you got to look at, and look at the division. We play Baby Huey twice a year, we play Jonathan Taylor twice a year. Baby Huey's got. Assuming he heals properly from his broken foot, which hopefully he doesn't, because fuck him. Like, we got at least three or four more years of him. And then Jonathan Taylor just started his career with the cunts. So, we got to deal with them twice a year. So, that right there is enough to just be like, okay, we anything that can help that situation, let's do it. So, we need to... So, yeah, I, I think, and look, like I said, I like Evan Neal. I think he's going to be a great player. But I think for what we need right now, if we can't trade down and get, like, Traylon Burke or Ed Receiver or somebody like that, I think, <clears throat> I think hands down, um, Thibodeau or Hutchinson needs to be the guy. Because trust me, I would love multiple first round picks for the next couple years, but that's gonna but unless somebody really loves Kenny Pickett and is really fucking desperate, like that that's gonna be tough to do. So I think Tim or Hutchinson is the guy. Like, I think we should leave Evan Neal alone. And and I think Detroit's probably gonna take um you know, what's left between Thibodeau and Hutchinson. Like I think that's who they're who they're taking and Personally, I'd ra and personally, I'd rather Evan Neal go to fucking Houston than Thibodeau or Hutchinson. So that's where I'm at. But I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think. I think we just need to stick to the, either Thibodeau or Hutchinson or trade down if we can, because I think I, I just think that's those are the two best choices right now. But that's it. That's all, people. This has been your boy Jagging Off. Go Jags. Do all till I die. And I'm gone.